Hello. As you can see, I'm back again with the video, obviously, because apparently this is the year in which I make more videos for some reason. As you could have seen by the title, I am turning 22 years old today. If I finish this video on time, which is always kind of the question when it comes to me making videos. But if I finish everything on time today, on the 25th of November 2022, I am turning 22 years old. For the average person, the first song that comes to mind when you're turning 22 is 20 to by Taylor Swift. But for the average Eurovision fan, the first song that comes to mind when you're turning 22 years old is 22 by Sarah McTurnan, the 2019 entry of Ireland at the Eurovision Song Contest, which is why I am going to make a shirt with Sarah McTurnan on it, embroidered on it, to celebrate my 22nd birthday, or let's say to celebrate the start of my Sarah McTurnan era. So that's what this video is. Also, yes, I'm wearing a sweater over a turtleneck because it's called I'm not going to turn on my heating because it's not really responsible anymore to turn on my heating so I haven't yet this year so I'm not going to which also brings me to another Sarah McTurner related thing time for the backstory our roommate Caroline she turned 21 recently and all of the other roommates we got her a custom blanket with her hamsters on it which I just made with this size and because I ordered it there I got a discount so I'm going to make a blanket with 22 Sarah McTurners on it to keep me warm in these cold months because that's better than turning on my heating i guess why not it's fitting for this video um the discount is valid until five days after my birthday which is my older brother's birthday anyway i'll show you the blanket once it gets here okay i got the sarah mcturden blanket in the mail i'm going to unpack it now i went for a kind of retro is retro a pop art i kind of went for a pop art pink background and then I just added 22 Sarah McTurnans. Can you see it? I mean, if I want to, you know, be warmed. Is that the right word? If I want to stay warm in the winter without using the heating in the house, the only way I want to stay warm is by 22 Sarah McTurnans on a blanket. So I will. Yay, okay, now I have to really start on the embroidery because it's the 15th of November today. So in 10 days, I have to have finished this whole thing, including the video. So let's go. So I don't really want to buy new fabric. I need to put on the lights. I don't really know if this is better, but sure. No, it's not. Anyway, I don't really want to buy new fabric for this because uh it's cheaper to not have to buy new fabric and i'm in luck because a friend of a roommate of mine asked me to make her curtains shorter like crop her curtains so maybe if there's enough fabric left i can make something out of that because i do like the color so maybe i can make something out of that so i'll just first fix those curtains and see how much fabric is left and then i'll go on from there so what i did was basically just measure the curtains and mark the points of how short the friend of my roommate wanted the curtains to be and then I cut it at that mark and then pinned the curtains at that point. There aren't many things in life that are certain. The two things I know are definitely certain. First of all, 22 ceramic turns will definitely keep you warm in cold times. Second of all, I will procrastinate, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. But I am doing that while 22 ceramic turns are keeping me warm. So that's a win. So after procrastinating, I finally sewed the curtains. Also, can you see what song I'm listening to? I finished those curtains and because I had to shorten them, I had to cut off a lot of fabric from all those curtains, which I'm going to make the shirt out of. So I'm going to use an old shirt that I like deconstructed and made into a sewing pattern to make this shirt so I can embroider Sarah McTurnan on that shirt. So let's go. So I basically just took an old shirt and traced it onto the fabric. I did that for the front and back panel. Then I pinned it because the fabric was folded in half and then I cut it out. And then after that, I pinned the front and back panel together. Okay, I sewed the front and back panel together. Um, so I just need to do the sleeves. I'm not sure if this, okay, look, this length, it's a bit long. So maybe I have to like shorten it like somewhere here. I don't know. Anyway, it's going pretty okay. Not that much can go wrong anyway at this stage, but that's the update okay i added the sleeves and the collar um the collar oh wait i still got some thread here my, oh my. 
nah, amazing. The color is a bit tight, so um, I really have to pull on the shirt to put it on, but I'm wearing it now, so that's what counts, I guess. And now I can move on to the embroidering, finally. Oh yeah, wait, I have to show you. I did, in the end, crop the shirts. So it got to here instead of here, because that's a bit long. So the shirt itself is okay now. I just need to put Sarah on there. Today is a bit of a sad day. Well, not the whole day, but today in the Ziggo Dome in Amsterdam, Het Grote Songfestivalfeest is taking place, which is this event with a lot of Eurovision artists. And um, I don't have any tickets. I seriously considered going just last minute, like a few minutes ago, because a friend of mine is there right now, but I um, can't really afford them right now. So that's painful. I literally was in Amsterdam today because my mom was in Amsterdam um, and she saw Vaidotas from the roof in the hotel she's staying in like they saw him I think in the lobby or something and uh, a friend of hers said that's the singer of the roof and she was like who and then they looked him up and then they saw that it was him so that's cool a bit disappointing that I can't be there but luckily I've got Sarah to um, help me through these tough times you know so I saw this trick, I think somewhere on Instagram, that you're just supposed to print out the thing you want to embroider, pin it onto the fabric and then just embroider through the fabric and the paper, following the lines, and then just spray the paper with water so it dissolves. So I'm just going to try that. So I put Sarah McTurnan and her car and the 22 hearts, well, at least I tried to kind of paste two parts together. Um, it looks really awful right now, but I, I hope that the end result will look better. And I'm going to print it out with the printer. I hope it works, and if it doesn't, I have to think of a different solution. Um, I literally didn't do anything yet. This is um, scaring me, but we're just gonna go for it. Did it die? The screen went black. Oh, I had to turn it on again. Well, this is going to take a long while, I think. Install ink? No, I will not install ink. Because I don't need magenta. I'm just going to do this black and white. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. It doesn't work. Oh! No, uh, I don't want to add magenta. Oh, the whole thing's gone. Okay. Luckily, my roommate Carlijn could print in the library with her school account. She also printed out this face of Strijntje Oosterhuis, but um, this one was too small for her. She needed a bigger one, so I decided to keep this one and frame it. Okay, I bought embroidery thread. Yeah, embroidery thread from the Zeeman, which I always thought was a shop that's only found in the Netherlands, but apparently it's also found in Spain, Austria, France. I did not know that. Anyway, I have never really embroidered before, so let's hope this will go well. I finally have these. I'm going to use a method of just pinning this to the fabric and then just following the picture. So I'm going to do that, but I'm first going to test it with this second piece of paper that also came out of the printer, even though nothing is on there. And this same fabric that I made a shirt out of. So I'm going to try that and hope it goes well. Um, and I guess we will see. I used my incredible drawing slash writing skills and wrote 22 on a piece of paper and pinned it to the fabric and after a literal fight with the thread I finally managed to thread a needle with the embroidery thread so this is the moment of truth let's see if the technique that I saw does work um, I'm kind of scared oh one of the same kind of scary isn't tight enough to the fabric but it goes through pretty easily okay honestly i'm kind of surprised by how well this seems to be going knock on wood honestly i know it's only two stitches but for a first time ever embroidering something like this it's going surprisingly well but that is to my standards of course <laughs> so i don't know what that says about me i don't think it really says something positive about me but you know what that doesn't really matter what matters is that i have a a shirt with Sarah McTurn on it on the day when I'm McTurning 22. I'm sorry, that was an awful joke. Sarah, if you watch this, I'm so sorry. I also need to have this video finished before my birthday. Right now, it's the 21st of November. My birthday is the 25th. So the question is, why am I still doing this when I'm not doing the actual real thing, which is embroidering Sarah McTurn? That's a question I don't know the answer to. 
so I'm just going to move on to the real thing, you know? So this is what it looks like, it's literally just Sarah McTurnan pinned onto the fabric. And then I started embroidering and honestly it went pretty okay, it's like not that hard, if I'm honest. Alright, um, I finished the bottom half of the skirt which is literally just one line, but it looks like this. Um, you know what, it's not much. But it's honest work. Or what is it saying? What is the meme? I don't know. Anyway, I'm happy with it. And I'm just gonna continue like this, I think. You know, I've always liked 22 by Sarah McTurnan. It's even on the seventh place of my Spotify wrapped of 2019. I mean, I'm not lying. Also, my review of 22 was positive as well. Back when I made it in 2019, I just rewatched it and I was also positive about the song back then. It's just a live performance that was, you know, not as great, but it's also understandable since she had a gum infection during the Eurovision week, which is also, I think, what influenced her performance. I know I gave Ireland the worst vocal award in my awards video of 2019 which by the way I stopped making awards videos um which I don't agree with anymore like sure you can hear that something is off but I don't really think her vocals were bad necessarily so I definitely take that back and you know I think she's very iconic for battling through you know having a gum infection and still performing at the Eurovision stage which I also understand I mean why would you not perform on the biggest stage of Europe I mean of course a gum infection isn't going to stop you then right? I'm also pretty sad about the fact that she came dead last of the 2019 edition of Eurovision. I'm pretty sad about that, but you know, that won't stop me from still listening to 22. I finally finished the dress of Sarah. It looks like this now. So that's just the dress that I finished. Now I just need to do the rest. <laughs> it's also very late right now. So I'm going to sleep now because this took longer than expected, but I gotta say it is relaxing. It is the right kind of activity to do before you want to go to sleep so that's a win as well i think we're going with her arms and her chest her face um, and then after that i do her hair i think that's the best way to do this i don't really know if there's a best way to be honest um, and I doubt that I'm doing this the best way possible, but today it's the 22nd of November, which is on a Tuesday. So you could say it's a Tuesday or a 20 Tuesday, but actually the actual Tuesday was the 22nd of February, of course. I missed that moment when it was 22 minutes past 10 p.m. I was kind of bummed out when I missed the actual Tuesday moment, but I guess this is my Tuesday moment. By the way, I am accompanied by my Sarah McTurney blankets. <laughs> it's actually kind of weird that I have this, but the power of Sarah McTurnan has helped me make this amazing fashion moment. So, um, thank you, Sarah. <laughs> you know, another reason why I love Sarah McTurnan is because, like at Eurovision in concert, every artist would like come on stage, basically just say hi and start singing and leave. But this is how Sarah entered the stage. Hello, Amsterdam! Can I hear some noise? Give me some noise! So when I'm singing the song, join in, join in in the fun, you know? Like, I mean, come on, you gotta just love her. Also, I love her because of this photo. I saw it on Twitter one day, and honestly, it's just one big mood. I think this was together with Michael Rice, who was the representative of the United Kingdom that year. Like, Sarah and Michael really got along really well. Like, I think they hung out a few times together. So, I also really like that. And I made this picture into a sticker uh, on WhatsApp, because it's just a mood. And also, yes, it is on my blanket. I'm kind of running into a problem because I only have one thread left of the color I'm using for Sarah's skin. It looks a bit cursed now but let's just hope the final result will look less cursed but as you can see I still have a lot of face left to fill with that color so I have to run to the store tomorrow to get more thread so I think I'll maybe be able to finish the last part of her face with this thread then I guess I'll just do her hair and the microphone and um, her eyes and mouth and then tomorrow do the final parts so yeah also i'm um i have a cold i got it yesterday so exactly two days before my birthday so that's fun um wasn't planning on that so let's hope i'll feel better 
super soon because I don't want to feel like this when I'm entering my Sarah McTurn era. Also, yes, this is the shirt that I wore in my Halloween costume ideas video. I turned it into my pajamas because I bought it. I might as well wear it, right? Okay, let's continue. So here is footage of me embroidering that part. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to record a little part of voiceover for this short time lapse. I was right, I did finish the face, well the skin part of the face. This sounds a bit creepy to say that, but I finished that part. Now I'm going to do her eyes and her mouth and the microphone and her hair. And then I'll buy the thread for the last part tomorrow. I feel like Sarah actually made quite some friendships at Eurovision. At least that's what it looked like. Um, which I understand because Sarah seems like a really lovely person in my opinion. I know she also really liked Anna Sunday by Esther Pirni, who represented Romania in 2019. And I know that Tamara Todevska, who represented North Macedonia in 2019, invited her to come over to Skopje, to a hotel, if I'm correct. Rolling? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my very good new friend, Sara. And I want her to, I want to invite her Skopje, you have a free weekend to come with your daughter and your husband to Skopje in our next door park hotel to visit Skopje and to hang out a little bit with me and uh, to, to go to, to see where I live. You wanna come? Yeah! Okay, honey! So I will, I will call you and I will tell you when, okay? Thank you so much! Thank you, I love you! <laughs> I'm still wondering if they actually did meet up again after Eurovision. I really like that when Eurovision artists do that. I also know that Sarah posed with the Proud sign for Tamara Todevska because her song was named Proud. And they had this thing where they made participants, I think female participants of Eurovision that year, say what they were proud of. And uh, that photo was also on my blanket, of course, because I think we can all be proud of Sarah. Also, fun fact, the first song I listened to after Eurovision 2019 was not Arcade, despite uh, um, Arcade being the song that represented my country and won, but the first song I listened to after Eurovision 2019 was Proud by Tamara Todevska because, um, I don't know, it really made an impression on me and, and I was really happily surprised by how well it did in the jury vote. How cool would it be if Tamara Todevska and Sarah McTurnan had like a musical collaboration together? I would love to see it and hear it. Okay, it's really late, it's so late that I don't even want to check what time it is, but I finished everything except for this part. So I'm basically almost done. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to bed. I'm very tired. And also, this is going to be the last day of 21. So, um, you know, crazy times. I just came back from the store to buy a whole package of embroidery thread just because of this color. Also, don't ask me why my hands are kind of still painted black. You'll see that in my next video. Anyway, let's finish this shirt. You know, I wonder if Sarah even is aware of the impact she made on the Eurovision fandom because every time I see someone of the Eurovision fandom turning 22 on Twitter for example, they always say that they're entering their Sarah McTurnan era or are at least making a reference to Sarah McTurnan and her song 22. And I hope she knows that because, you know, it's one of the best things in my opinion that has happened to the Eurovision fandom and now I can also say it. I did it. I finished Sarah McTurnan. I tried to add the tattoo. Um, it obviously doesn't look exactly like her tattoo but I kind of felt like I couldn't skip it. You know? Also I added the necklace and like her earring and her in-ear. Keep in mind this is the first thing I ever um, embroidered so that's why it doesn't look perfect. So yeah now I have to take it off and uh, I saw that I have to take it off with like using water but I feel like I can rip off the big parts of white paper around it at least i feel like i can i hope i can i hope i don't literally destroy my work when i do that so i gotta be gentle okay i feel like it's going okay until now so far at least the outer parts are i still have to figure out how i'm going to do the middle parts you know but it's coming off pretty easily because i've of course been punching holes in the paper so it's coming off pretty easily but i feel like now i'm going to have to need water to take the rest off also this is what the back looks like i always like looking at the back of embroidery projects because they always look interesting in my opinion 
I got a spray bottle with water so I can hopefully just do it like this. At least that's what I saw the guy on Instagram do. Okay, this actually goes pretty okay. It rips off really easily. It's just the edge that's still visible. Well, I think, I think this is fine actually. Okay, I think this will work. Okay, this could take a while. So I took a pin and just basically used that to take out the little pieces of paper. Fun facts. Right now, when I'm recording this voiceover part, I've been 22 years old for exactly 5 hours and 18 minutes. So, um, yeah. Look, I'm not sad or anything, I'm just tired, but I feel like I have to finish this video right now. Because the sooner I get it out, the sooner the better, you know? Does that make sense? I feel like that makes a lot of sense. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? Here it goes. There she is, Sarah McTurnan on my t-shirt. It's still a bit wet because of the water um, and you can also still see the circle. Also, I noticed that she isn't centered, but you know, that's kind of my signature thing, I guess, because my Valentina Moneta crew neck also was not centered. So I guess it's part of my thing. <laughs> also, as you may have seen, I printed out more than just Sarah. I also printed out the car 22 and like this pop art explosion thing because of the background of her performance. Those were supposed to be on the pan but I didn't really finish the pants. I'm still going to and you will see them in one of my upcoming videos, I guess, but just not right now. Um, also, my final minute of being 21 has commenced. So I got my old phone. Um, let's just wait with Sarah. Do you want to see it up close? Keep in mind, this is the first thing I ever embroidered. Um, I don't even know what this background is, to be honest. I'm just going to wait. <laughs> oh, oh no. Well, there you go. I'm 20. Well, I'm 22. This whole video was about being 22. Why did I mess that up? I'm officially 22 years old. And you know what the first thing is I'm going to do when I'm turning 22, right? I'm going to watch Sarah McTurin's Eurovision performance. Oh. Um. Yeah, damn right, I see 22. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Um, now I have to edit all of the footage I have. Most of the footage I have is like time lapses of me embroidering from really bad angles, but I'm going to have to edit it now. But thank you so much for watching. I want to thank Sarah McTurnan for making the song 22 because this is the best way I could enter my year as a 22 year old, you know? A blanket with 22 Sarah McTurnans, a shirt with Sarah McTurnan, and starting this year as a 22 year old with her performance. There's no better way to do it. In 2019, Sarah McTurnan really said you know what i'm going to give every euro fan who's going to turn 22 the best song to celebrate their birthday or something like that the song isn't really about being 22 but still sarah if you're watching this i hope you don't think i'm a creep <laughs> Um, uh, I hope you liked it if you're watching it. I don't know if you're watching it. If you did, that would be really cool. Fun fact, it takes me a whole minute to take off this shirt because I made the hole for my head way too small. Like putting it on was like pretty smoothly, like 15 seconds. Is that smoothly? Not really. And then taking it off takes like a full minute. But you know, I'm dedicated to Sarah McTurnan because I Sarah McTurnan. Because I Sarah McTurnan. 22. No, this is bad. I really need to stop talking. Anyway, thanks for watching and hopefully until next time. Bye!